Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. My name is Costa Child, dogs to born, but built for theme parks. And welcome to a theme park newsroom update. No, this is not an April Fool's joke. We're not even in April yet. Uh, but today's the day we announce a new article that's come out which says something potentially very exciting. I want to get your thoughts on this. Um, it's the potential of a brand new set of theme parks or theme park based on the the possible comeback of a defunct brand called Toys R Us. Now, we'll get into all the details in a little bit. Uh, first of all, can I just say massive thank you to all the support I've received over the last 24, 48 hours. Um, obviously, you guys will know that uh, Claude from AFTV passed away yesterday. And... Um, you know, all the res and you know, he was like a mentor, you know, sort of getting the advice of YouTube and things like that. And I've only spoke to him a few times, but it felt like uh, a mentor or an older brother. So, uh, thank you to all the support I've received from that. It really means a lot to me. Um, obviously, my thoughts, my hearts and condolences, and my thoughts and, and prayers go to Claude's family, friends, AFTV, all the people in the football fan community that knew or watched Claude or his content. Um, and may he rest in peace. Um, and, you know, he loved having a laugh. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Because, trust me, when I saw this article, I found it hilarious that this could actually potentially happen. So, uh, Claude loved his humour. This video is for you, Claude. Uh, so, before we get started, guys, make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. We are getting closer and closer to 2,300 subscribers. We're on the road to 4,000 by the end of the year. We're well on track. We're also on track to a million views in total by the end of this year. So, please, please, please keep subbing, keep watching the videos, and keep making the dreams come true. Also, guys, go check out the links to Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, and the Discord server. I've just hit 500 followers on Twitter, which is unbelievable, so thank you very much for that. Um, we're nearly at 1,800 on Instagram, not too sure on TikTok, not too sure on the Discord, and not too sure on Snapchat. So, please go follow all of them if you haven't already. Go check out the Google Forms link where you can submit your video ideas and content suggestions. We'll get them all written down and get them all pre-recorded in the summer. And for now, guys, let's have a look exactly what is going on uh, with this potential Toys R Us comeback, which includes potential theme parks in the horizon on the future. So the following article, which is also linked in the description down below, is from figures.com. And this is all about the Toys R Us potential comeback, including the theme parks. So make sure you go check out the article from figures.com. It's a great article. Read it for yourselves. Uh, but they said it hasn't been an easy road for Toys R Us since their mass closing of the iconic toy store chain back in 2018. Emerging from bankruptcy back in 2019 under the ownership of True Kids, Toys R Us held a small grip on the 60-year-plus run of the Toy Store nostalgia with two locations that remained open in the United States. Alas, even those closed down in early 2021 due to financial losses in the COVID-19 pandemic. On the 15th of March this year, it was announced that the brand management company WHP Global has acquired a controlling interest in True Kids, which the parent company of the Toys R Us Babies R Us and Jeffrey the Giraffe brands are going forward they'll be managing True Kids businesses to help its guide its resurrection expansion. In North America, WHP plans to open Toys R Us stores again, including possible new flagship stores and pop-ups in places like airports and inside other retailer shops. In recent news, it's come to their attention, and our attention, that the new owners have gone bolder with their plans with several trademarks filed for potential theme park names. These include filings for Toys R Us World, Toys R Us Park, and Toys R Us Land. Could this mark the rebirth of the toy store giant? With new ownership, shots getting into the arms, and the end to the pandemic in sight, one can only hope. Fingers crossed we see Jeffrey the Giraffe in stores and theme parks soon. So potentially exciting news on the storefront, but on a theme park front, this could be the future coming to life very very soon so there we go ladies and gentlemen thrill seeks of all ages that is speaking on the potential possibility of toys r us theme parks um wow i didn't think i'd be doing a video on that today um now let's hear it out first of all and we're only going off the basis of if this is true and one of the names becomes the name and we see a toys r us theme park somewhere whether it's uk europe america asia wherever 
I think this is a wonderful idea. I think if it is going to be the first Toys R Us theme park, the first one I'm expecting it to be is in the United States because that is where the last couple of stores were there for before early 2021 during COVID. So I expect America to be top of the list on the first place to get a Toys R Us theme park. I'd expect the next place to be the UK. Where in the UK? I don't know. Maybe London, Maybe because of the whole flagship store situation. They want to put, build some flagship stores as well, some pop-ups. Maybe could, that could be the c continuing theme in the theme park. So... Uh, like flagship parks in London, Manchester, Cardiff, uh, Edinburgh, uh, Dublin, and then pop-up ones all around the UK, maybe one in Swansea, maybe one in Newcastle, maybe one in Donca Doncaster, that would be brilliant! <laughs> Um, and by the way, can I just say, I love, when I was a kid, I loved Toys R Us. It was like the, I think as a little kid, I think I remember like years and years ago, I thought it was like the Grand Emporium of toy sales. <laughs> um, but not, not, not specific worded like that, obviously, not for that, for, for a kid age. But, um, no, I thought it was like a, a toy mansion in a way. So, um... I mean, and to be fair, the Toys R Us theme park wouldn't be a bad idea because you look at the kind of uh, toys they sell in the Toys R Us stores. You get your usuals like your Disney ones, your Action Mans, your Hot Wheels, your Matchbox. Um, you got like some some games as well. You got like some games like a Soka game or uh, like Nerf Blasters. So there's loads of things you can expect from a Toys R Us theme park. Maybe a Nerf War Laser Zone, uh, kind of like what Gulliver's do. Uh, but nothing, obviously not copying Gulliver's, maybe something their own style, but with the Nerf brand. Uh, maybe a, a Disney themed area, like a Pixie Hollow themed area, so you sort of share the, or you reach the agreement with Disney to get the rights. I don't think they'll go with Disney. I think they may go with Hot Wheels, they may go with Matchbox, they may go with, um, they may go with Power Rangers, you never know. Um... They may go with Barbie. I expect probably a Barbie themed area to go into a Toys R Us theme park. That would be a, a lovely themed area for everyone to enjoy. Um, so there's millions of different toy brands you could work with inside a theme park and create different themed areas, wonderful attractions, theme it around the stories, theme it around the brands, and just bring them all to life. Also, to be fair, in terms of devising the themed areas, I could expect maybe the name of the company that owns the brand of the toy to have their own themed area. So you have like a Hasbro area, and then a Nintendo themed area, then a Disney themed area. You know what I'm talking about. And then within the areas, it shouldn't feel like a clash of themes. It shouldn't be like, oh, this theme, this theme, this theme, this theme. It should feel like a collage rather than a clash of themes. It should be a collage of themes. So gently fading um, or transitioning one theme of an attraction from Disney into the next themed attraction from Disney, even though they're different themes. That is the whole potential principle of these Toys R Us theme parks. So, if they're going to move forward with these plans, I'd be very excited to see what the plans would look like and how they would devise them. I would expect some original areas. Um, I think one other route that could go down as well as the brands and the IPs is to have an original theme park. Nothing to do with brands. Sell them in the, in the main shop, but I wouldn't have like branded themed areas for different brands of toys. It'd be a, I'd like to see it as an original part, like Jeffrey the Giant, uh, J Jeffrey the Giraffe, and all the characters roaming round and things like that, and have their own like little individual areas, and it's sort of different themed area. Maybe not to the toys or the brands for the toys, but maybe like uh, just general themes that have come off those brands. So, so, so for example. Like, you see the Disney Tangled stuff and things like that. That's very fantasy, so you have a fantasy area. Hot Wheels and Matchbox and things like that, that's action, that's racing. So you have, like, a raceway action-themed area. Um, Barbie and, you know, Care Bears and things like that. You have, like, um, like an Enchanted area. Different from fantasy. Different from fantasy, if you're going to go with both of them. But have like an enchanted themed area as well, where it's very, you know, nice and it's like one of those Cloud Cuckoo Land towns kind of thing. So, uh, there's a million different ways to do this, but I think a, a Toys R Us theme park was to go ahead in the UK. I'd be very excited about it. So, uh, make sure you go and stay tuned for more information by clicking the notification bell, like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Chow, Coop Living the Coast Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a toy-tastic day. Hashtag Toy Story.